Today on our 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrack, we're going to be installing the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C11286. Now here's what our hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground, we have just under 15 inches. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, we have about two and a half inches. Now let's go ahead and point out our mounting locations on the car. There will be a total of four mounting locations, two on each side. We'll begin over here on the driver's side. And over here on the passenger side, it'll be located here and here. Next, we're going to need to remove the rubber plug that is in each of the mounting locations. To do that, we'll just use a flathead screwdriver and slide the rubber plug out. We'll go ahead and repeat that same process over on the driver's side. Now let's go ahead and go over the hardware that we'll be using to install our hitch. For the rear mounting location on both sides, we'll be using a 7 16 carriage bolt, the square hole spacer block that looks like this, as well as has the smaller hole in it to accommodate the 7 16 carriage bolt. We'll also be using a 7 16 flange nut under the carriage bolt. Now to get the hardware in the vehicle's frame, we'll be using a fish wire or a bolt leader to do that. We'll also be using the forwardmost mounting location, which will need to be enlarged a little bit to accommodate the square hole spacer block as well as the carriage bolt to fit through it. Next we're going to need to enlarge our access hole using either a round file bit on our drill, a hand file, a die grinder, or a rotary tool with the appropriate bit. we'll need to go ahead and repeat this same process on the passenger side as well. So it's a good idea after you enlarge the holes to take a little bit of paint and cover up the bare metal to help prevent rusting. Now that we have the forwardmost mounting location enlarged, let's go over the hardware that we'll be using for this location. It will be the same for both the driver and the passenger side. We'll be using a half inch carriage bolt, the larger square hole spacer block, so it'll go up in the frame like that. Then in between the frame and the hitch will go this round hole spacer block, followed by a half inch flange nut. So it'll be the carriage bolt the square hole spacer block inside the vehicle's frame, then the round hole spacer block, then the hitch, then the half inch flange nut. Now to install the half inch carriage bolt and square hole spacer block, we'll be using a bolt leader or fish wire and using the reverse pull method to install these into the frame. Now let's go ahead and install the hardware in the rearmost mounting location for both sides. Go ahead and take our bolt leader Go through the mounting location, we'll then come out the forwardmost mounting location, take our square hole spacer block, feed it on, put our 7 16 carriage bolt onto the bolt leader, we'll then feed the square hole spacer block into the vehicle's frame, followed by the carriage bolt and then pull it down into position. We'll then repeat the same process over on the passenger side. Now for the forward mounting location, we'll need to take our square hole spacer block Feed it onto the bolt leader first, 
We'll then take our half inch carriage bolt, thread that on. Now on this time, you would push the carriage bolt into the vehicle's frame first, followed by the square hole spacer block. Once we have the hardware installed in the vehicle's frame, let's go ahead and pull the carriage bolt down into position. We can then remove the bolt leader and repeat the same process over on the passenger side. Now it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you raise the hitch up into position. You also want to remember on each of the forward mounting locations, you need to install the round hole spacer block in between the vehicle's frame and the trailer hitch. Now that we've got our block lined up, go ahead and install our flange nut. Now that we have all the hardware installed hand tight, we can go ahead and tighten it all up and then torque it to the manufacturer's specification. And that'll do it for our installation of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C11286 on our 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrack.